spider house families, I just wanted to send home a quick fine motor activity that you could do with things lying around your house. And um, this one is very simple. All you need are some coins and a flat surface. Now this is going to work out that pincer grip for our students. So they're either picking them up like this, or maybe they're not ready for that. Maybe they need to drag one off of the table and pinch it off of the table like this. Now you can use a table. You can use a container with an edge to it if you think your child is ready for that. If you think they can just pick it up like this. Some will have to slide. Whatever they have to do to pick up the coins is totally okay. Um, so the most fun way to do this is with a partner. So if you have your own pile of coins spread out on a flat surface just like this and you race your, you set a timer and then you can race your child to see how many coins each of you can pick up and who can be the winner. Um, so you'll pick it up as quick as you can. You count them at the end. They can pick them up any way they want. Um, but just as they do it, just as long as they do it one at a time, you don't want them doing this because that's not really working out those muscles. You want them to be able to do it one at a time. Uh, some other ways that you can scaffold this activity, you can have the students count the amount of coins they have at the end. You can have them quantify. So for example, if I have three coins in my hand and I ask my child, how many coins do I have in my hand? I want them to try to not count and I want them to try to recognize how many coins are in my hand without having to count out loud. So if they were to look at my hand and if they said three, that would show some great quantifying skills. Um, and it's okay, to, to, no matter what they can recognize, all of it is good progress. And I hope this activity is fun for you at home.